Then it, during the process of peer team report also, I have observed three scenarios. First scenario, because all members, because especially when they go for the first time, no, they will be going with full josh, they would be studying the entire semester report fully, thoroughly, twice, thrice, four times, sometimes five times. They memorize the statistics, everything. That is very good. At that point of time, each member may take that tentative, that draft peer team report, tentative score, everything. They do pakka homework. And that is the ideal situation that is very good. I don't have any problem for that. Second scenario, only I thought out of uh, three members, maybe two people or maybe one person, one member might have brought the report. Maybe the sitting vice chancellor, I am very busy. I am sitting, na? that's why I am very busy. Uh, I, may, I didn't get sufficient time. Uh, then I was not able to concentrate on the uh, self-study report. Uh, then, okay, that is also un understandable. Uh, then some member might have brought the report and that can be fine-tuned. That is also situation is okay. And last scenario, na, that is nobody brings the report. If they come just like for a holiday, then they have to spend midnight uh, oil and uh, it's, uh, it's very difficult. Even if, there's a, if they burnt midnight oil also, it is not uh, so easy to prepare the peer team report. They, if they start from the scratch, because now we have reduced number of days also, it is only just two days. If you do proper homework, then only we can comp you can be able to complete in two days. And if nobody brings the report, and if nobody goes through the self-study report, it will be a disaster. Then I have observed different categories of chairpersons also. I have uh, put it in uh, six or seven types of uh, chairpersons. Number one, first category. First category of chairpersons, they may take complete responsibility. Even, even though they are sitting vice chancellor, standing vice chancellor, or sleeping vice chancellor, whatever, uh, they may take complete responsibility. They may uh, do the proper homework, they may study the self report thoroughly, and also they may prepare the draft report and they may participate in the interaction with the different stakeholders. Everything would be done by the chairperson. Other members might be paraphernalia sometimes. That is the ideal category of chairpersons. Second category, partial responsibility. Because again, for sitting vice chancellor, sorry, I think I'm referring to sitting vice chancellors more often. Don't uh, take me personally. Uh, don't feel offended. Uh, the sitting voice, because there you may have some specific problems also, because specific challenges, because your priorities might be different, because you may get, you have to face different challenges within the university when you are sitting. Uh, once if you become a farmer vice chancellor, then things would be different. Uh, then here, in the, the, the moment I said partial, they take partial responsibility, they may not be able to uh, write the complete draft report. They might have gone through the self-study report, they might have jotted down some points, but draft report may not be there, but they may participate in the interaction uh, with different stakeholders and the visit also will go on very smoothly because another member might have brought the report and that can be fine. That is also okay, even if you take partial responsibility. And another category is there. Uh, that category of chairpersons, they don't take, uh, that is no much, they don't take any responsibility or much responsibility. In this category, they might not have done any homework they might not have read the self study report itself and uh, they may not be able to interact with the stakeholders also because again if they are sitting vice chancellors they are supposed to uh, resolve issues in their university sitting in the institution concerned at that point of time they may tell the other two members that where, what you do the whole work then we will si i will sign wherever you want i call this category of chairpersons as signing chair signing chair chairpersons because if they just sign, it may not be sufficient, but still I think visit will go on smoothly and uh, that is also to some extent manageable. Because anyway, that may not uh, come to our notice unless until if they give the feedback. Otherwise, uh, NAC also may not get the uh, information. Then another today morning professor, Desh Pandava, dictator type of chairperson. Because the, again, ego and superiority complaints. See, I am the vice chancellor of three universities. Do you know? That's why I think you have to listen to me. Then other professor and principal, uh, they may think they are of the inferior nature and uh, they, for everything they, were, uh, they, they may dictate. That category is also there. That is another dangerous category. Then another, now uh, I found another category, dictating chairpersons, especially some older people. Na? Now anyway, now we are restricted to 70 years. That's why after seeing all these experiences, now we are restricted to 70 years now. Uh, this type of people, because they were very much familiar with dictating the notes. 
and what are the, even if they, somebody brings the uh, report, uh, draft peer team report, they were not supposed to, they, they are not in a position to accept that. At that point of time, they are uh, asking the vice chancellor or the principal of the college to send one stenographer because nowadays number of stenographers are also less because in every college stenographers may not be available. Uh, that those days have already gone because now again ICT, no? even so there are softwares available, whatever you can tell I think immediately it will get typed and you can get the ready made copy also. I think ICT because IT, ICT, ICT is heavy uh, era is there now. Uh, that's, but still some of the chairpersons they might be uh, asking for stenographer for dictation. Some of that is also okay, manageable, maybe I think uh, uh, that's, uh, since we are restricting to 70 years that may not be a problem in future. Then democratic chairperson, that is also ideal category because they may give opportunity to other members and everything will be rosy, that is also fine. Last category is a dangerous category of chairpersons. Neither they do the work nor allow others to do the work. Here I would like to give another uh, small incidence. We went to Gujarat, I think some people are there in Gujarat. Uh, don't uh, anyway, I will not tell the name of the college in that way you may not be able to quote me it's okay because maybe four or five uh, Gujaratis are here uh, yeah you are there yeah uh, but in that we went to one cow yeah you are also there yeah uh, we went to one of the colleges in Gujarat the visit was only for for uh, two days because it was a small college arts uh, it's only arts and commerce college not they, they, they didn't have science faculty because in especially most of the colleges in Gujarat they have uh, commerce only because it's a because they give more emphasis for trade, commerce, business, all these things. That's why colleges also uh, they have in this type of category. Then uh, one of our uh, peer team members, he was also a relatively younger member. He was coming for the first time, but very beautifully he had uh, uh, written the draft uh, peer team report. Then uh, with the full josh he showed to chairperson. Then chairperson, he might have, again, he was Tandulkar. Uh, and he might have uh, gone through several visits. No, 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 no. You have written based on the self study report. I cannot consider just like that. I have to see the uh, institution. Then based on that, I will be writing the self study. I mean, repair team report. Then I cannot accept this. I also had gone through that report. It was really, it was well written. Based on, in my experience also, it was of very good quality. You know, it was ready to give to the principal during the exit meeting. It was almost like that. Only thing is we had to check for small documentary evidences, we had to make small, small corrections, fine tune, some small fine tuning. That may, that may take maybe about half an hour, 45 minutes time. Then uh, the chairperson said, no, nothing doing. I will, because I, this is a very confidential work, task given by NAC, I have to type on my own. Even I don't need stenographer also. I don't need your typist also. I mean, I don't need member also. Then uh, we were very much surprised. Sir, do you need Sham Sundar also? No, no, I will type on my one. Okay, then for me also it was a holiday. I also kept quiet. Because I was chit chatting with uh, those uh, uh, faculty members outside. Then chairperson asked for the laptop. Then uh, one laptop uh, had been brought. Then he looked at the laptop. Where is delete key? Where is back, backspace key? It was not available. Then they said, yes sir. Yes, sir. I am not familiar with this. Then one intelligent, anyway, Gujaratis, you know, they are very intelligent people. And that person also assessed our chairperson. Oh, he is a old fellow. And he might be familiar with old laptop. Then he, uh, that uh, HOD was also a little bit elder person. And he had one old laptop. They brought for three, four laptops. He didn't accept anything. Then, <laughs> fortunately, he had kept uh, as an antique piece. Then the antique piece had been brought. Then the antique piece was given to our chairperson. He said, wow, very nice. It is almost similar to my laptop. <laughs> then immediately he started typing. Then our exit meeting also got fixed at 12.30 uh, in the afternoon. Because we had the flight for the next day. That is third day morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, we had the flight. Uh, then 12.30 meeting was fixed. Our type, uh, then our uh, chairman started because it's uh, some uh, nuclear bomb formula was there no, in the report. That's why he started on his own. Then he started typing. Then at 12.00, then 12 o'clock I asked. Then he said, I started, na? <laughs> then sir, when you will be completing, sir? Then he still he was in the introduction only at 12 o'clock. Then meeting got postponed to 3.30. Then 3.30 he was in, still he was in third criterion. Then again meeting got postponed to 6.30, still he was in 5th criterion only. 
Then imagine there were about 300 people who were waiting for the exact meeting outside. We have to understand, we, because we have to understand the gravity of the situation. But chairman very coolly was typing. Then at, uh, then again meeting got postponed at 8.30 in the night. 8.30 still uh, he completed seven criteria. Then again overall analysis, recommendations, those with, Do you know what time we conducted the exit meeting? Uh? Midnight 12.30. Then 12th, imagine all those 300 people were waiting for us outside and we went to the, after the completion of the exit meeting, maybe by 1.15 or so, we went to the room and we took shower and immediately we went to the airport and none of us had sleep at all on that day because of this chairman's attitude. Had we accepted that younger uh, peer team member's uh, report, I think we would have completed in half an hour, 45 minutes, 12.30 itself, uh, we would have started the exit meeting. That's why we should not be very much adamant because neither he did do and also that he had prepared a very shabby report because in the midnight if he prepares, imagine I think he's a, he, he also didn't get proper sleep and the, the report had got lot of grammatical errors and uh, the, even for spell check also we didn't get time and also alignment was also very bad. Uh, in total, the report, uh, whatever the chairperson prepared, was in a very bad shape when compared to this ready-made uh, draft report. Because draft report, because he had spent a lot of time, to even he did, because uh, he was an English professor and he had given uh, full importance to the preparation of the draft report. That way, what I am trying to tell is, at least when the uh, system is, with, uh, established system is there, at least you should go with that system. And also in NAC also we don't recommend that because we don't ask any one of you to prepare the draft, prepare the peer team report starting from the scratch because we request all of you to prepare well in advance because we also go for plan, we give more focus or more emphasis on planning. Then there are another multi-dimensional challenges that is time management, especially this cultural program. This cultural program we may give for 30 to 40 minutes. And the, the, I have found two extremes. Maybe one peer, one set of PRT members who have inclination for culture, tradition, uh, then music. Then they may tell, yeah, it's very good, fantastic. Go ahead. Instead of 40 minutes, you can go for one hour. We sit and we will work for uh, late night hours. All those things. That is one extreme. Another extreme: those people who do not have flair or inclination towards music, drama, all these things. They say, no, what is this cultural program? We don't have time. We have to do very serious work, nuclear bomb formula work. Na? We have to do that work. We have to immediately get back to the hotel. We have to start our discussion. That's why we cannot come for your uh, cultural program itself. Because finally, end of the day, we are evaluating the talent of the institution also. That's why whatever the time uh, NAC stipulated, at least that time at least can be there. And if they prolong it, at least politely you can tell them. See, if you do go for three hours or four hours, just like a movie, they may not, I think our PRT members may not be able. In the beginning only you tell them that to restrict the program to 30 to 40 minutes. That, that might be a good idea. Then we may have uh, inter, sometimes interaction with the students, uh, uh, parents and alumni also. Because again, I, I came across two, three incidences. In one of the uh, instances, uh, we, ha we were uh, supposed to have dialogue with the students. And our chairperson today morning, JP was telling, no? he was telling about his accomplishment. I was when I was in US, I did like this. When I was in Australia, New Zealand, I did. Then about 45 minutes were given for the student interaction. About 20 to 25 minutes, he gave uh, uh, his speech only. Then afterwards, he realized that he has not introduced other two members. Then he took another uh, 10 minutes for uh, introduction of other two members. Then afterwards, he looked at the time and he saw then it was uh, almost 40 minutes. Then, oh, oh, then I had to ask some questions also students immediately realized. And he gave opportunity to only two students. Then immediately wound up. Then he said, wonderful uh, interaction. What wonderful interaction? Because we have to listen to the students uh, rather than giving uh, your uh, experiences to them. Because that is not the platform to showcase your uh, major highlights. Because some of the times I think we should be very serious because I went to Anna University. In Anna University, even Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam came as an alumni. He was on the audience, we were on the dais. That type of people also come. And we went to another college in the Northeast. There, one minister also came, because their minister also, uh, they may get uh, black cats, because they have good security. And uh, that minister came and our, again, our chairperson, he kept on speaking. 
then very jovially i told our chairperson sir he is a minister look at black cats fortunately uh, <laughs> because they may shoot us if we speak more that's why it's better to restrict our conversation listen to the minister i think minister also might be interested to tell something about the institution then very jovially i told uh, then the chairman also got the message then we did listen to the minister because he is the alumni of that college uh, in that way that's why we should be little bit careful and we should know our objective uh, honestly we should not drag our conversation for a longer uh, period then personal management because when we go on a visit we think that it's a holiday who oh, i to because in bangalore oh bull temple is there no lal bag is there kaban park is there because if a person is coming from the north east he if he goes for only sightseeing then who will do nak work that's why touring all these things is better to avoid because now number of days are only two if we don't concentrate on this it's very difficult then sometimes they may tell i have friends here in bangalore my relatives are here here or my daughters the sons they are also here in bangalore silicon valley and if the person is coming from north east definitely he has got a temptation to go at least call them speak for 5 minutes 10 minutes that is fine and sometimes last time another member told me my phd scholar is here then he kept on interacting with phd scholar from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock then who would do nak work that's why it is better to avoid that type of things and again this again this mobile problem this is another problem because we went to another very reputed college that biotechnology department was very very strong in that college and uh, that principal investigator of that particular project he kept on explaining about the highlights of uh, that particular project because they uh, he looked at another member his family emergency he also went away then uh, we only one member and i was uh, there then we were looking at the we were listening to that project uh, highlights then after 10 uh, minutes i looked at uh, another person he was also not there that means whole team was missing because nowadays we uh, nac officers may not be able to go to all the peer team visits by chance had i not gone there who would uh, listen to the principal investigator that's why we, the, all these phone calls are very important but very diligently we have to handle the situation and also we should know that uh, uh it is not a punitive exercise nax exercise is not a punitive exercise it is not a inspectorial exercise it is not a fault finding exercise it is a fact finding exercise and we should know that we are not sitting above the uh, faculty members of that institution and we should avoid sharp language or inspection approach because today morning our chairperson was also telling about this and not to exhibit exhibit any superiority complex these are some of the generic uh, highlights and our peer team visit schedule the generic peer peer team visit schedule looks like this as per the revised accreditation framework one is uh, the on the zero eight day you would be having pre visit meeting then on day one presentation by the principal then criteria and wise meetings and visiting facilities then lunch on meeting with the management then cultural program uh, then on day two after uh, interacting with all the stakeholders on the first day then checking documentary evidences report writing sharing draft report with the principal finalizing the pre, uh, peer team report and exit meeting this is the generic uh, peer team report and now when you go to the institution you need to look at their uh, annual quality assurance report and iiq also institutional information for quality assessment because that is a small document maybe i think they might have given some uh, information by any chance if that information is wrong at that time you can pinpoint and you can bring to the notice of the nac also if it is uh, totally deviant from the if the whatever the is the reality if it is reality is totally deviant from iiqa at that time you can bring to the notice of nac also because uh, last month we came across that type of instance uh, in that institution they had multiple faculties in starting from engineering medical dental pharmacy everything but in the self study report as per iiqa they they had only art science commerce that's it only three faculties accordingly they paid the accreditation fee and the remaining thing then when we uh, when the peer team members spoke to the institution they said in nac the, the uh, portal there is no provision to feed additional data but we have the provision when all the institutions in the country can feed i don't understand why this particular institution didn't get the provision that means very deliberately they might have dodged the information anyway now we have placed it before the standing committee confidential unit also got that information and specifically we wrote and prt members also gave the special reference of this and they gave a special noting about this type of uh, uh, misleading information now maybe i think our uh, executive committee also may take very stringent action 
about this type of institution. That's why when you go there, if you come across that type of instance, you can bring to the notice of NAC also. And because nowadays NAC officers may not be able to go to all the institutions, maybe for larger universities we may be able to join you. And for smaller colleges and all, we may, be, may not, because, because of the small size, we may not be able to come for all the visits. That's why we will make one of the members as a member coordinator and member coordinator uh, needs to submit all these documents because member coordinator would be acting as NAC officer also. Again, he has to change another hat from red to green. Then important tips, the team needs to adjust to the best possible local hospitality available in the neighborhood. Normally because as per the eligibility also is 7,500 plus GST, it comes to around 8,500 or so. Anyway, Lakshman would be giving that information. Uh, in that way, you would be getting a decent hotel. You need not worry, especially if you go to the metros. By any chance, if you go to the remote place, some Chikbalapur, Chikbalapur, you may not have very good hotel. At that point of time, whatever the hotels which are available, uh, the best hotel in that particular region would be given. Only thing is I request you to bear with that type of hospitality. End of the day, you need a clean towel, clean bathroom, that type of regard. Most of that time, even if you stay in a star hotel, most of the time, you only your luggage would be enjoying the hospitality, not you. Because most of the time, you would be in the institution only. Then adhere to the NAC's conflict of interest policy, including the prohibition of paid consulting or job. Because once if you take it, at least for the next three years, you are not supposed, supposed to take it. Because you should not become principal of that institution only. Because though if you go as a principal, and next month you should not get the invitation that uh, you would be the principal of that college. Or you would be the vice chancellor of that university. Especially if they go to the private university, uh, once uh, that also happened. Our chairperson of the peer team became vice chancellor of that university in another two months. <coughs> that is also very bad precedence. It is just like match fixing. Then actually NAC took very stringent action, both uh, on the uh, chairman of the NAC team, we have blacklisted that man, and also we have uh, blacklisted that institution also. Then we, are, we have withdrawn the accreditation for that institution. That type of instances are also there. That's why we should be very careful afterwards. Let me complete afterwards. Then diligently manage unforeseen situations and uh, disgruntled elements. Because you know, in every institution, there would be disgruntled elements also. <coughs> Go to any institution, either to the university or to a college. But only thing is, because they may give some representation, or they may showcase uh, major lacunae uh, in the, with respect to the functioning of that institution. At that time, very diligently, as senior academicians, you need to handle. Then uh, the PRT members, are expected to be an effective communicator, a patient listener, and good time manager. Yes, now Devendra Kaude is also looking at me, and also Lakshman is also looking at me, and now I should be a good time manager. That's why I think I have to wind up this session. Uh, uh, here, uh, in my personal opinion, this peer team visit should be cherished both for, by the peer team members and to the institution. If you are very much arrogant, and if you are a dictator, if you are a police officer in the institution, I don't think they will cherish uh, your visit. That's why once if you are polite, if you are because if you behave like a PRT member, definitely see now Professor Changapa. See, very smiling face. Tell me who can antagonize Professor Changapa? Definitely nobody can antagonize. Correct. I, I, I envy his smile. Uh, because you now I think both of us can compete each other for a smile. <laughs> uh, but once if we have that type of smile during the process of the on-site visit, definitely institution also will cherish our visit. At the same time, we also can learn very many good practices from the institution. Because in my opinion, in every institution there would be one or the other good practice. Even if you observe a bad practice, Definitely it is a learning experience because you can learn that you should not practice that bad practice in your institution. In that way, uh, this is a continuous process and finally you are the ambassadors of uh, NAC because the peer team should be a cheer team and not be a fear team. In my opinion, peer team should act like a peer team, not a piercing team. Uh, that's why, uh, because if you act like a piercing team, you will become a fear team. And if you act like a peer team, you will become a cheer team. Then choice is yours, but only thing is our choice is to become a cheer team. Because once if you give a smile, then if you use your sense of humor, because you take, you do it, uh, do the entire exercise very objectively, but with a smile, smile, smile and use your sense of humor, then the entire exercise will be more lively, not only for you, even for the institution. See, even I think after the completion of five years, ten years, some of the institutions still they remember some of the PRT members. Still they remember. 
They might have put their names in their institution or annual report and they remember the court, which subject they belong and what did they speak during that time about 10 years ago. Everything they remember. Why? Because, uh, because of their cheerfulness. In this way, very many things can be done. Now I request uh, uh, our uh, uh, senior facilitation comparison officer, Mr. Lakshman, to make a small presentation. He may, he may not take much time because most of the things I have covered, but still logistics, he is the authority because he is doing a great job. Because this month, uh, he, up to this month, he was able to coordinate with uh, about 600 higher education institutions because it's never in the history of NAC and uh, he has taken a lot of pain to coordinate with all the PRT members and higher education institutions and it is just like a day and night uh, uh, task because even in midnight also because he also sends some whatsapp messages to me how many he has coordinated and how many have completed all these things uh, day to day he also sends in that way he is doing a very commendable significant task uh, but what you should do what you should not do maybe in another five or seven minutes I think he would be uh, throwing some light. Uh, thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shamshudar. Most of the slides which I've prepared already, Dr. Shamshudar has gone through it, so it's, uh, I don't want to repeat it. I'll just briefly go through this. Uh, whatever is most important to you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, my name is Lakshman, I am the Lysen officer here. I head this uh, travel desk under this uh, logistic committee, rather I am the member secretary of it. Uh, this is the most important workflow of logistics. The main thing is the pro forma, pro forma is the logistic uh, details which are given by the concerned advisors like Dr. Kavade or Dr. Shamsundar. The logistic details means name of the PAT person, details, personal details, email ID, mobile number. Once it, this comes to us, it will be tra you know, transferred to the travel desk. From the travel desk of the NAC, which is manned by around 3 to 4 people, 24 by 7, it will go to Balmulari. Balmulari is a public sector unit. It's not a government agency. It's not a private agency. Why we have taken government agency? Because there are a lot of complaints. When a private travel agent is involved, obviously there are some kind of a corruption or some other nepotism things come up. Now this Balmanari being a government of India agency is a person, uh, rather this is an agency which is doing the logistics even for the Prime Minister's office uh, as well as MHRD also. That's one of the primary criteria we took it and it's the only agency in the country which can do this 24 bar 7 across the country. There's no other single agency, even a private agency is not able to do it. That's one thing. And now and when the uh, peer team detail go to the Palmanari, there are two divisions under it, A ticket booking as well as hotel accommodation. A ticket booking. Once Balmanari receives their A ticket booking details, they will, within 24 by 7, they will call the concerned peer team member, maybe some professor or vice chancellor, and get all the details. And you should be ready to give your plan, or if you are not able to make up your plan, supposing you are coming from Agartala to Bangalore, there are four sectors involved. You need to make up your plan in such a way, even the transit details also, supposing you come and land in Bangalore at 11th hour, there is no hotel for you. And such details, if you give him, or he will rather, he will tell you what to do. And uh, entire once the ticketing is done, and one of the most important thing is if you don't get in touch with Balmul Nari or Balmul Nari will get in touch with you, within 48 hours we need the travel plan. If you don't get this travel plan freeze, the hotel accommodation suffers. And every day, if you delay, one day if the tic air ticketing is 5,000, next day it is going to be 7,000. And at the end of the month, it might even jump to the you know, business class ticket. A economic ticket which is available at 5,000 rupees, you will end up paying 30,000 rupees. It has happened many times. And now, once this is done, the hotel accommodation takes over. Hotel accommodation is one of the very uh, sensitive issues. Uh, there is something like uh, Mofusil cities, Tier 1, Tier 2 and Tier 3. Tier 1, Bangalore, Chennai, uh, uh, Delhi, whatever, it's very easy to find. And uh, as per the norms of Balmain Laurie and Government of India, even Meridian is available, Ashok, whatever class 1 uh, cities. Tier 2, like Mysore, that's also okay, somewhere uh, we can manage. In Tier 3, like uh, sir uh, told about Chikbalapur, Whatever is available, clean toilet, hygiene room, within that Balmalari is going to manage. Sometimes even that is not available. Yesterday I got a call from Agartala. Uh, the institution is around a very remote border of uh, almost China. They wanted to have a hotel. The nearest hotel is three hours drive. And that too in Tinsipia. And finally we zeroed in on a hotel but the chairperson told no, I want next to the uh, college. And no matter whatever we did, we didn't you know, find a good hotel. Finally, we took a call, they have to travel and they made all the arrangements for the 
as far as travel and hotel is concerned. That is one thing. Once this comes, once the air ticketing is done and the hotel thing is done, from the TAC travel desk, we will give it to the concerned coordinator. From the coordinator's office, it will go. Also, from the Balan Varai office, also it will go to the PAT member. This is one of the things. <coughs> this already I have explained. Uh, just a, a note on the hotel accommodation. Once the etiquetting is done, the process of hotel booking starts. The hotels are being booked as per the Government of India standard guidelines. Bonvillari usually locates a hotel which is around 15 to 20 kilometers from the institution. So sometimes what happens, uh, if time permits, they will even book 90 kilometers. That's because a, a good quality hotel is, uh, and safety is also a matter of concern. They will book around 3 to 4 hours drive also. That kind, you have to kindly bear. This is a very extraordinary situation only. And tire uh, three cities already I have told you. Uh, this transit is very tangy affair. Sometimes uh, 11 o'clock in the night we get a call. I, do, I, I suddenly I am in Mysore. I have uh, not booked my hotel. See, we cannot say no. But only thing is care to be taken when in the initial level of booking only. You should plan your schedule in such a way. Even the transit should be taken care of. See, what happens is uh, uh, for booking a hotel. See, Balmalari is also government of India. Seven thousand five hundred rupees is what is our uh, rate for the hotel. To transfer that, it requires at least two days or one day. From Because every time we get a new hotel, because uh, every state we do this thing, that is on the issue. And also transit is done only if there is waiting time of six hours. If it is less than six hours, the transit cannot be done. And food, this is some sensitive issue, or maybe some comical things are also involved. Sometimes we get a call uh, after the food, lunch or dinner. We get some calls from even the managers of the hotel, sir, these people have had food, they are not gave paid us. So we, I want to make it very clear, NAC does not arrange any food. What we have done is, NAC arranges only hotel accommodation and air ticketing services through his vendor. NAC has made provisions for reimbursement of food expense uh, expected by the PAT members while on visits. And what is the thing, 4,100 per visit total for only for food apart from the honorarium. That is 1,200 rupees for a pre-visit day or zero day. 1200 rupees per day into two uh, as far as college is concerned and equally for the universities and rupees 500 for the journey day in all 4100 this is the lump sum so i just wanted to make it clear food you only do reimbursement and this is one thing i dr shamsu that told and uh, september august october has been very uh, what do you call uh, exhilarating as far as we are concerned almost 600 visits you have finished september 7 27th i remember in one day, we have finished 42 visits, never in the history of NAC. And that too, we have a hardly a skeletal, a skeletal staff of only 2-3 people. And initially, it was like March we started. Uh, all of a sudden, the last 3 months, we have had 600 visits. And these are some do's and don'ts while on visit. This might be very useful. The members should read the place of visit one day before. Pre-plan schedule is always helpful. Cancellation or rescheduling the tickets and transit hotel will not be entertained at the last minute. Avoid clash of peer team. Sometimes I visit, as uh, Dr. Shamsundar told about Tendulkar, so there are many Kohilis nowadays. They have four to five, uh, five visits in a, what do you call, in a, in a month. And sometimes it will be like, uh, last day of the visit will be the first day of next visit. And they will not inform us. So what do we do? It, it involves cancellation of reschedule. One, one cancellation of a ticket nowadays costs 3,500 rupees, plus service charges from the Balmain lorry. So this is going to have some kind of an implication as far as CAG is concerned. So we are very, uh, very uh, open with it. Kindly, if there is anything like that, you have to please tell us. And uh, the flight schedule should be given at least two days from the first contact of Balmalari. Not giving the itinerary to Balmalari will lead to escalation in the cost, possible audit impli implications. And no change of hotel and no overstaying. Sometimes what happens, uh, we are booked only for two days or three days. One gentleman has stayed for two days more and he has checked out telling NAC will give and the bill is still in a matter of uh, slumber and uh, we don't know what to do with it. And this is the helpline, uh, this is actually uh, maybe you can kindly note it down, maybe I will give a, uh, a copy also. In case of any emergency, any time, supposing there is a cancellation, naturally there will be some cancellation. What to do? You can always contact these people and in the hotel, in, if there is any hotel problem also 24 by 7, this is Mrs. Leera in the hotel accommodation. Now this is based in Mumbai. And the air ticket is based in uh, Bangalore. So hotel, in case of any problem, you can always contact these two numbers. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, thank you Dr. Shamsundar, sir, for sharing our wisdom with Blender Puma.
thank you lakshma sir also for giving the nitty gritty of this travel plan uh, life is short live it love is rare grab it anger is bad dump it fear is awful face it and memories are sh- uh, sweet cherish it let's make this memories very sweet and captures the moments by saying cheese may i request all of you to please proceed for a group photo arrange in the lawn outside the hall and from there we shall proceed for lunch and we should be back here by 2 o'clock it's humble request to all of you